Hey everybody, welcome into another edition of Five Fantastic Minutes. Hope you're coming off a great weekend, and we are now in part six of our Twisted Thinking series. For those of you, this may be the first time watching it. We're in the middle of a 10-part Twisted Thinking series, and hope you're enjoying it so far. A little recap, we've done all or nothing thinking. Uh, Overgeneralization was the second one we did. Then we went into mental filter, uh, discounting the positives is the one we also have done, and then also magnification, which was the last five fantastic minutes that I did as part of this twisted thinking. And today, we're going to be talking about part six, which is jumping to conclusions. And I'm going to relate this. It's going to be a pretty short one, but you'll get the point. I'm going to relate this to extending out payments beyond treatment time. So there are industries where the facts say don't extend payments. One of those industries for certain procedures is plastic surgery. All right, excuse the example that I'm about to, <laughs> about to talk about. But when, my, when I was in plastic surgery, one of the procedures that you would not extend out were, were these, okay? <laughs> Whenever we did uh, that type of enhancement, that type of surgery, uh, we would not because the data is overwhelming in that industry uh, because people are there purely for aesthetics. And not only aesthetics, they would pay to get these done. They would overpay. They would, I mean, these, some of these procedures we were doing were megas of thousands of dollars. And people would come in and buy them that could not afford them. Like they wanted that bad. And also a lot of our surgery centers uh, were in Los Angeles. And obviously, you know, some areas where there's a lot of money spent on skin, a lot of money spent on bodies. So people, long story short, would buy them that absolutely couldn't afford them. Now, of course, there were people that bought them that could afford them. But the facts, even then, because of the reasoning that they were buying them, if something came up in their lives, you know, these would be the, the least of their concerns. It would be put on the back burner as far as payments go. And obviously, you can't repossess them once, you're, once they're in, right? You guys can, you know, you can stop sending them trays or you can you know, stop seeing them uh, for braces. There's ways to put the brakes on. Plastic surgery, once they're in, there's no, no way to put the brakes on. So anyway, that's not the point. But the point is, is that the facts and the data showed a very, very high default rate. But there's actual data. So let me talk to you about why I just gave you that story and repetitively said there's actual data. Okay, so whenever you're jumping to conclusions, my notes say here is that basically you are interpreting things negatively when there are absolutely no data. There's no data uh, to support your facts. We do this in our lives all the time. People vote based on uh, not data, not facts. they based on feelings. They run their life based on feelings and emotion rather than what the data actually says. Too many people actually run their business that way, right? And one of the ways uh, that a lot of you out there do that is exactly the payment plan option that I was talking about. One of the reasons I really like and enjoy speaking for OrthoFi is they have clear, hardcore data that extending payment plans and orthodontics has absolutely, uh, there's no data that says people will default on their payment, right? Let's say it's an 18-month treatment. You extend it out to 30 months or 25 months, whatever the number is. There is no factual data that has any kind of proof that people will not pay. However, and this is where we come to jumping to conclusions. Let's say uh, you had a patient. Let's say you said, hey, we're going to extend out payment options and we're going to extend it 25 months so this patient can start uh, their Invisalign treatment or whatever treatment today. And let's say it's an 18-month treatment. And let's say that patient defaulted and they stopped paying you. It is very, very easy to jump to conclusions and say, well, it makes no sense to extend monthly payment plans because this person screwed us. And the reality of the situation is, is you take that one scenario, there's no data to support the facts, and you overgeneralize and you inevitably say, we're going to make sure that our payment plans are not extended because people clearly won't pay us. And a lot of you do this. A lot of you have had past situations where people have defaulted on their payments and therefore you jump to conclusions and you let those negative emotions, those negative thoughts come into play and you say, well, because they did it, we're not going to, everyone's going to do it. Everyone's going to default. And it's just not true. And I wanted to just use that example today of so, so many more. And I want to kind of challenge you out there to think about what do you do in your personal life? What do you do maybe in your relationships? What do you do uh, employees with your career? Doctors, what do you do as business owners, office managers? What do you do running the practice, uh, leading your team, right? What do you do that may fall into these jumping con to, to conclusion situations where you make policies 
based on how you feel rather than what the data is actually telling you. You may be a person out there that doesn't want to extend payment plans, but the reality is your acceptance will go up, your same day starts will go up, right? But also, you've got to challenge yourself and you've got to say, my feelings aside, we're going based on data. Don't jump to conclusions. Don't have negative feelings towards something based on how you feel. Make sure you have data to support those. We're big believers in extending payment options because it actually allows you to be more expensive than the other opinions out there, which is what we teach. We teach prestige pricing, intentionally be the most expensive, but you've got to have an experience to back it up. I hope everyone's enjoying this twisted part thinking. If you're somebody out there that clearly is going, yeah, sometimes I let my feelings uh, and my emotions kind of take over. Stop doing that. It's easier said than done, I know, but go by the facts. Let the data dictate your decisions. Leave your personal feelings out of it, and you will be a happier business owner, a more successful business owner, employees. You will have more success in your career. You will all have more success in your personal lives, your relationships, et cetera, all right? Do great things for your patients. We'll see you back for another five fantastic minutes again soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.